welcome back to my youtube channel again your number one economic and extension farmer this channel is all about efficiency and today i'm going to be talking about temp temperature while brooding our chickens we really really need to understand temperature and its effects the reason why we lost a lot of chicken during brooding is because we lack the understanding on temperature for us to get a normal temperature in our brooding pen, it requires our attention. So if you already like what you are doing in this channel, please like, subscribe and share. Now let's get right into the topic of today which is temperature. Now I'm going to be talking on how to get good temperature for the chicken and effect of temperature on the chicken for today's video how do we get a right temperature for our brooding chicken because when birds are newly hatched it is hard for them to regulate their own temperature and they need your attention or your support as a farmer for them to be able to get a good temperature and chicken usually need 33 degrees Celsius or 30 degrees Celsius of temperature to be able to move well. This is an optimal temperature for the chicken. How do you get this? One, the use of gas lantern. You can use gas lantern to regulate your temperature and you can use charcoal or lamp to regulate your temperature and how you are going to be giving them and the amount of heat you are going to be allowing to come out of the charcoal the lamp and the gas lantern depend on how and where you are building your chicken type on my channel search on my channel how to start a poultry farming step one poultry hub and you will see how to get how to have a good brooding pen for your chicken. Good brooding pen also help in good return from brooding your chicken. It help them from it help you as a farmer from losses and help them to grow well. Help your chickens to grow well. Now the number one effect of temperature, I'm going to be dividing it into two high effect of temperature and the low effect of temperature if your temperature is high in the pen what effect does it has and what sign will your chicken show and if your temperature is low what does it mean and what sign will your chicken show to indicate high or low temperature once again subscribe now for a high temperature you will see your chicken panting no matter if they're that big or small, when the temperature is really high, you see them panting. And you will see them spread about when they are, they, they, instead of smoothing or eating well, while as in, instead of being normal with the room, you see them scattered abroad and panting. That is one of the effect of temperature if you see your chicken doing this know that the temperature in your pen is high and again you see them drinking water a lot instead of going to eat feed they go to the water in order to regulate their temperature inside they will look for water to drink that is another symptom of sorry that is another sign of high temperature 
And what effect does this have on your chicken? Mortality. Of course, if your temperature is really high and the chicken can no longer absorb what is inside, they tend to die. If without no sign, you see your chicken is dying. And low temperature, let's go on low temperature now. We are we just two with high temperature. There are also a lot of signs which I will be telling you on another episode of temperature. This is just for breeding for breeders alone. This is for breeders, for people that are already passed to the stage of brooding, we still have another effect of temperature that I'll be mentioning in the next video on temperature. Now, low temperature, the first sign you see and notice with low temperature is smoothing. Smoothing, you see your chicken clustering or gathering together in a particular place in order to get heat for themselves. And this is really the major cause of death in brooding pen. This cause aspergillosis a lot. This is the major causes of aspergillosis in brooding pen or in brooding chicks. So you have to avoid low temperature. You see, while my chicks, my chickens are dying, my chickens are dying. This is just the cause. Just make sure your temperature in the room is in an optimal rate. Make sure it's, your temperature is optimal. It's not high. It's not low. So guys, hope these tips is helpful. Do not forget this channel is all about efficiency. How to minimize wastage and maximize profit. Going abroad to look for solution and making a lot of research on what to do to give us maximum profit everything is going high most especially the country nigeria where we are now everything is just going high feed and cost of production is going high but do not worry with this channel you are really really covered just be patient with me as i take you through series and series then you will understand why this temp why this why you should subscribe to this channel thank you do not forget to subscribe and like do not forget to subscribe and like once again i remain your number one economic and extension farmer i love you guys